My next guest is going to be taking on Sarah McMahon coming up here at UFC Fight Night on January 16th on Fight Island. It is Juliana Pena joining me here on the program. Juliana, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing fantastic. Good to catch up with you. Uh, before we talk about your fight, I wanted to talk about another fellow Pacific Northwester uh, picking up a big win last weekend, Chase Hooper. How cool was that to see him get that submission win late in the fight? It was awesome. I'm so happy for Chase. He's a hard worker. And, you know, considering the personal circumstances that I know he's been dealing with in his own camp, I'm, I'm glad that he was able to, to get the win and, and dedicate that to his uh, close uh, training team and, and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm really happy for Chase. And, and I'm sure you're someone who's keeping an eye on the, on the fighters from the West Coast and sort of rooting for them a little bit because you guys have really been making waves uh, in the UFC for quite some time, like Michael Chiesa, yourself. It, it must be cool to see. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I always, you know, got to stick to my roots and, and remember where I came from. And Washington State is my home. I'll always be a 509 girl. And uh, it's really cool to see the other uh, fighters from Washington State find success. It makes me very proud and happy. Good stuff. Um, you're back on Fight Island. Was this by design? Did you want to go back or were you hoping to get a fight in Vegas? Now, time out, because they still said that it's to be determined, and you're saying it's Fight Island, so like my heart is still breaking a little bit, because I was still praying for Vegas, but I, I, so I guess it's in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, the latest, as far as today, is what I know. They're saying, they're saying Abu Dhabi, because I think all the cards at the beginning of 2021 are going to be in Abu Dhabi, so. Yeah, I figured as much. Yeah, I'm going back to Abu Dhabi. It's definitely not you know, the, the best of circumstances, but it is what it is, you know? You, you, gotta, you gotta fight, so. Okay, so just to clarify then, I guess when you got the contract, they're just like TBA in terms of location? Yeah, so like all of the, the shows in 2021 were like all to be determined. And so I was still, you know, like praying and, and keeping my fingers crossed that it could possibly still be in Vegas. But I figured as much, you know, they're asking for passports and, and all sorts of entry stamps from the last time from Abu Dhabi. So I was like, crap, we probably are going to Abu Dhabi. But it, it's not the ideal place that I want to go to, but um, it is what it is, you know. When you when you fight and you sign, you got to fight. So. Exactly. Got to take what you can get. That's good. Um, let's talk quickly about your last fight. I know it wasn't the result you wanted, but you always learn more from a loss uh, than a win. What did you take away the most from that fight against uh, Durain Durandamy? Um, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you one thing is, is to trust myself. Um, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm not quite sure if I need to be talked through the fight. And then I'm not quite sure if I just need to, you know, even if somebody's screaming something at me, just do the opposite and, and do what I feel. So I'm, I'm like caught in the middle there. Like, do I listen to people screaming at me or do I just do what I feel? And, and, and I caught myself there. I, I was listening to something that I felt like I, I didn't necessarily sh or shouldn't have necessarily gone for at that moment. And, and if I was, I needed to have a, a smoother transition. So I think that, you know, one of, I, I'll take that all back. The one takeaway that I can say from that fight is that I need to slow down a little bit and uh, not always be in such a massive hurry. Okay, I like that. Um, let's talk about your opponent here, Sarah McMahon, former title challenger, obviously outstanding wrestling. Matchup-wise, how do you look at this from a style perspective? Style perspective, it's going to be wrestler versus grappler. It's, it's going to go to the clinch, it's going to the ground. So that's basically whoever gets on top wins, in my opinion. Okay, I like that. Yeah, just as simple as that. Uh, training camp, how have you sort of structured things ahead of this fight? Um, training camp's going great. Um, all good things. I, I feel great. I feel super strong and, um, I've kind of just structured things the same way as I always do, you know, at, for every fighter that I, um, fight and change my, my style for, um, you know, I, I can honestly say that I'm always ready to fight that person. You know, like when I, when I fought Valentina, I was like, okay, don't get hit, get in the clinch and, and, and get the takedown. And, and that's what I did. Uh, when I fought Jermaine, it was a lot harder to um, track her down and to actually get a hold of her. But I was, I was able to do that eventually. Um, so I'm always ready for the fighter that I end up fighting. And Sarah McMahon will be no different. I will be ready to fight Sarah McMahon January 16th. What about bodies in the gym? Who are you getting to train with right now? Um, I'm just training with my, my regular training partners, you know, um, I, I can, I can name them. Um, I'm not sure that if you would know them, but well, I let's know hear it. I like Carlos... hearing the up and comers and stuff. That's always cool. Right. So, yeah, you're going to catch this guy. Um, probably I'm sure on the ultimate fighter, maybe possibly we'll see, um, Carlos, I, I think his last name is Hernandez, Carlos Hernandez. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, he's, he's been my main training partner. Um, I got another guy, um, Zach, his there name's you go. Zach. 
All right, we got a name. That's perfect. Um, do you like, you know, in some ways, is it better like training with like up and comers? Because like really like they're like, you know, not, not to say that people get content, but when you have an up and comer, they haven't made it yet. So, you know, there's sort of that urgency. Do you find that, you know, in, in some regards, it's it's good to train with guys that, you know, aren't on, on that level yet in terms of like UFC caliber? Um, yeah, I think, you know, it's great to be in a room full of killers. That's first and foremost. And that's what I feel like I, I'm doing. I feel like I'm training with, you know, the, the best Chicago has to offer. Um, with that being said, these guys are trying to win just as much as I am. And so they're giving me the look that I am requesting, but then they're also trying to literally kill me. And so I think that it's great that, you know, they're trying as hard as they can. And I'm also trying as hard as I can, because I think that it gives us both, um, really good, um, a really good look. And it's also like live. So it's, pretty much the simulation that they're going to see and feel in a fight. So I think it's, it's, it's a great training camp. I, I feel like I'm just going into round four and five from my last fight, as opposed to starting back again at round one. Excellent. I know Macy Barber's in Chicago. Have you got to work with her at all? Yep. Yep. So I've, I've trained with Macy a few times. Um, she's getting ready for her fight and she is, you know, new to the gym. So she's kind of doing her own thing, making sure that she stays safe from her recovery and, and, uh, and, and yeah, she's great. How about the weight cut? You know, we just talked about going to fight Island. Does that alter a little bit just with, you know, the long travel time and all that? Um, for me, no, you know, making weight for me has never been an issue. Um, I, I, I walk pretty close around to my fight weight. So I'm, I'm actually never had a, an issue making 135. It's not a problem for me. Excellent. And how's the fight unfolding on January 16th? Obviously you feel like you're going to win, but how do you envision it playing out? Uh, you know, the name of the game for me is to pass the class and win at all costs. So whatever happens, I don't care how I do it. If I knock her out with my pinky finger, are you going to tell me that I did it wrong? Uh, probably not, you know, so however I get the win, you know, uh, I will be grateful and happy with it. The only thing that I envision is, is getting the win at, at any and all costs. Talk about the ultimate fighter. It's going to be coming back. Uh, are you excited about that? Did you like that whole experience when you were on there? Um, I did not like the experience. No, but I didn't really have a choice. And yes, I'm very excited for the the new season of the ultimate fighter to come out. Do you still keep in touch with anyone from your cast at all? Huh? No, I actually, Roxanne's the only one that I, I, uh, speak to every now and again. Um, and that's primarily because she was the only one that, you know, acknowledged my existence in the house for that. Right. Time. Okay. Fair enough. I like the honesty though. I like it. That's good. And then uh, my last question before we get out of here, uh, any, any plans for the holidays? I know the fight's coming up, but you guys doing anything special for Christmas? No, nope, not doing anything. I'm just trying to focus these next 10 days and making sure that I have these solid practices without everybody bailing out and using the old Christmas excuse. So <laughs> I just am more focused on that than I am the actual Christmas. I, I do have a lot of work to do as far as uh, wrapping presents and, and making sure they all arrive on time. That's for sure. And, and getting out to make sure that I have, you know, all the last minute necessities. Um, but other than that, you know, I'm just focused more on the fight than I am on Christmas, to be quite honest. Christmas right now to me is just another day. Awesome. Well, uh, we're looking forward to it. UFC Fight Night, January 16th. Julianne, I want to thank you so much for joining me here. Uh, anyone you want to thank, any sponsors, any social media you want to plug, I'll give you the last word. Yeah, I, I want to thank my coaches, I, uh, Mike Valley, uh, Rick Little, uh, Luis Claudio, and um, my management, KO Rep. 